Next up, we all know sunshine helps crops grow, but what about using the power of the sun to actually water your crops? Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh spoke with Nebraska Extension Biological Systems Engineer John Hay to learn more about solar-powered irrigation. Solar energy may seem like an obvious solution to powering a center pivot. However, Nebraska Extension's John Hay says there's more to consider before buying any panels. Well, solar in, in some ways has become more exciting in recent years because of a rapid decline in prices. We're really looking at the price of systems going down you know, almost four times in the last 10 years. So um, that really has helped the, uh, the economics of the systems and that has led to some excitement of people interested in installing it on homes and farms and businesses. Now, I think the idea with center pivots is that, you know, solar and center pivots tend to appear to match well. Solar peak production is in the middle of the summer, um, July, August, and irrigation peak use is July, August. And with a lot of electric irrigation systems, those two things seem to go together well. And in some ways, that's kind of what I wanted to look at. In addition, John wanted to research which types of center pivots would best benefit from solar power. He considered geography, utilities, system size, as well as load control to find which options were the most practical. We, we used some metrics for the best, is economic metrics. What was the shortest payback or the highest net present value for the system? And so when, it, when we looked across all those different um, irrigation systems in different locations in Nebraska, we found that systems that were not on load control and that had uh, the ability to use net metering uh, had the shortest paybacks and the highest net present values. That's not to say that load control is, uh, is a bad thing, it's not. And if, you, if an irrigation system can be on load control, that typically can help their economics. But when you have a system that maybe has uh, low capacity well or something like that, load control may not work very well for, for actually irrigating that field. And so if you're not on load control, you have higher electricity prices, thus what the solar is producing has greater value. So those would be the systems that if you're interested in solar attached to uh, irrigation, you'd want to look at those systems first. Choosing solar power for a farm is not a simple decision. When trying to find the right fit for an operation, it comes down to a case-by-case -case basis and an economic analysis. Solar for a farm, business, or even a residence is not necessarily a it's good or bad decision. It is an individual decision where uh, I like to do a quality economic analysis and then look at the, the goals of that particular farm and uh, maybe their motivations for wanting solar. And if their goals and motivations and the economic analysis all work well for that farm, then it can be a good deal. Others, the economics may not be good enough. So an example might be if a, a farm was particularly economically motivated and didn't have other motivations like marketing or green energy, the economic analysis might show that the paybacks and net present value aren't good enough for that in investment. But we don't necessarily know that until we start to explore those goals and explore that economic analysis. Lastly, John says the search for solar power should not be a short one. You should explore all options and refer to your economic analysis before making the final decision. I really just, just think that uh, you don't want to go in um, just like any large purchase. This is a large investment and you don't want to go in and jump on that first quote. You want to get multiple quotes. Questioning, be very skeptical about, about the numbers because um, sometimes they're, they're not, they're trying to convince you to purchase a system um, and they're not as, uh, the economics aren't as good as, as they say they are. So um, the payback is a good number. Net present value is a much better number, but it's harder to calculate. So I'm um, really trying to work hard to do a good economic analysis and, uh, and understand the system before you buy it. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh.